make it here for another meeting of the Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association. We had uh, what looked like about possibly 40 people sign up, so uh, we may have a few people filtering in, like I say, late, but that's okay. That's kind of why we're doing what we're doing. Let you guys network a little bit in the beginning. Let me do my little thing, and then we'll get the real people up here and have them talk. Okay? You're going to love Wendy. She's uh, very good. So, Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association, I scrambled over the last couple of weeks to get our website changed and get it kind of mobile friendly. So, uh, if you guys were looking at things going, geez, you know, this is all moving too fast and confusing, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're getting there. Okay? Um, does anybody, uh, let's see. Well, basically what happens, we had a, an extreme makeover on the website and everything else, extreme makeover. Yeah, that, right. Uh, that, uh, what, is what, whatever, 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 whatever. <laughs> okay, now we're going to wake up here. <laughs> so we play this little game since it's late in the evening that uh, if you hear me, you know, when you hear, you need to say whatever, whenever you hear me say extreme whatever. makeover. <laughs> there you go. You're learning, okay. Thank you. So what happens is you get some of your money back that you paid to get in here, plus it helps kind of wake everybody up because it's late and we're all kind of going. So uh, this is just a little way when I when I start getting really boring and I can tell because everybody's eyes are like this, then I have to play a little game and wake us all up, okay? And it pays to listen. So that's the game. So in any case, I went through and I did these websites and I tried to get things uh, you know a little bit more streamlined to make it easier for people. Since we're getting into this whole marketing thing this uh, particular month, um, I kind of jumped on the bandwagon and I also realized from doing meetup.com that we have some people in our organization who actually have a lot of uh, marketing skills. So I'm thinking maybe next month what we'll do is we'll have an opportunity for members to speak. Jackie? It's going to be one of them. She's volunteered. And I put the, uh, her website, what she's doing, which is really good. So social media marketing, um, <clears throat> virtual assistance, all kinds of things. So we're going to have uh, probably three or four people next month continue on with our marketing thing that we're doing. And then we'll move on to something else after that. But since we're on a roll, I just figured, let's do that. Okay? So we've got uh, the new looking website here. Um, and Wendy has already told me, if your kids are doing this, let me know because I've got some suggestions and I'm going, actually, it was me. I know it looks like my kids did it. <laughs> I used to do uh, you know, computer stuff at the university for about 25 years in a student mind, and I actually created UCSB.edu, the main campus website. Let me hear it. So uh, that was a lot of fun. But you know, I also realized in 25 years, I made four times as much part-time doing real estate as I made full-time working there. So I went, ooh, I'm gonna go broke if I stay. I better get out of there. So that's where I've got my focus. So I'll help my kids, help you get some things together. If we need to get to the next step, we're gonna go to Wendy, we're gonna go to Jackie, we're gonna go to whoever we can and, and bring up the support that you need at whatever level you feel that you need. And if you just need something quick and dirty and cheap, we can start off the bottom of the cup. Okay? So, um, Santa Barbara Rea, a couple ways to get there. The link on the top, we've also got the initials, we'll get you there. Um, what I did with this uh, recent meeting here, I, they, were, they asked me up at the Central Coast uh, Rea in San Luis to come and speak up there. And when I did, they were using meetup.com. Well, I used to use it four years ago. And I was kind of like, eh, I wasn't excited. When I took a look at what they were doing and how meetup.com changed, I went, oh, okay, I think that uh, we need to start using it because it has a lot of value that it didn't used to have. So the agenda that we have here this evening is I'm going to speak until about 7 o'clock. We're going to do a quick little 20K update, give you some strategies for making money off of that, some website, templates, hosting. Uh, Santa Barbara Computing is one of my businesses. And we're going to have Wendy Panetta, and she is going to speak to you. And uh, she's got uh, social media marketing, uh, online social media for small business, uh, techniques to cover and grow your business. But here's the good one that got even better tonight. 
because it's free, an all-day class. She said, well, normally I have in Los Angeles, and I said, well, if you have in Santa Barbara, you'll have a lot more people sign up. She was willing to do that. She said, okay, so we're still, and she's got a line, I think, on where we're going to do it. We'll figure that out and let you know. But here's the deal. We're in the beta test, okay? Yeah, I so the beta test is over. It's, we're, going into the <laughs> we're, we're going into the real thing. You guys are going to get it for free, but everybody else after that's going to start paying $500 for the same class if you're going to get it for free, okay? Yay! Yay. <laughs> it's a lot of content. I mean, that's... Good. Yeah. Well, keep talking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's really good news, okay? So you're in the right place at the right time. You're on top of the game. That's good. Um, when we take a look at the website that we've got here, what I did was I took a link for meeting, which normally would uh, be our uh, blog site. And, you know, to let people know it's S-B-R-E-I and blogspot.com or whatever. Everybody's going, what, huh? So now you can just go back to the main website, click on meetings, and it's going to take you automatically to that blog site so you can see well, what meetings are coming up, what's the, the most recent meeting that we're going to have, and what are the past meetings, what we've had, and where are the links to those videos and whatnot. So all that is on the meetings blog site. Okay? Um, <clears throat> we have a join button because it got real confusing for me and everybody else. Well, okay, so I'm RSVP and I'm meetup.com, but I need to be a Santa Barbara member. What is going on here? This is all too confusing. It was pretty difficult, wasn't it? <laughs> so what we've got here, if you scroll down, there's just name, first name, last name, email address, city. Uh, that's about it. That makes you a Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association member, okay, which is free. You don't have to pay for that. You do have to pay to get into the meetings, but that's free. And what does that get you? It gets you, you know, access to the websites. It gets you access to... Uh, Posting your deals up on MHBig, which we'll take a look at. Um, it gets you into posting on the Yahoo groups of about 600 investors, so you for free can post your deals out to those investors. So there's a number of things it gives you for free, and then uh, it's easy enough to join because you just go click on that, scroll down, do that, fill it out, you're done. Okay? Um, RSVP. Well, if you RSVP and click on that link, it's going to take you back to meetup.com. So when I saw that this was working really good for the people at Central Coast, and I saw how this thing developed, I said, you know what? We gotta go back and we gotta do this. Somebody told me, oh, I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna pay, I'm too cheap to do that. This is how you actually spend more money and not doing it, because you're spending a whole lot of time trying to figure out how to manage it some other way, okay? The nice thing about that is, how many people in here have actually registered on the meetup? Okay. So you've got a chance to see how you can put your profile information in there and you can tell people all the great things that you do and have to offer. People are going to look at that and they're going to go, hey, I want you to sell my home. Or I want you to give me some virtual assistance or whatever. They're going to find out about that through meetup.com meetup and your profile. That's a big plus that this company did not have four years ago. Okay. Plus, it helps us see, well, who's going to be here, you know, what do we have to prepare for, how is it working. <clears throat> and um, the other thing is it gives you a chance to look at other meetups. When I got on there and realized there's a lot of meetups in Santa Barbara, you know, I mean, some people are signed up for 20 meetups. <laughs> I want that life. You know? <laughs> Just play all day long. But uh, what happens is whenever there's any communication going back and forth, they have a chance to take a look at other people's meetups and with their hands, so they go, ooh, I want to go to the meetup that you're going to because that wine tasting thing, it's just, you know, that's my front line, you know? So this is really, this is a good thing. Uh, I think you're gonna, you're gonna like that, and of course, signing up the first time was hard, that takes time, but after that, now you just go back and say, oh, RSVP, you're there, you don't have to fill out all the profile or anything else. You do have to go here every meeting in RSVP, we are letting people in right now that have RSVP and they're a member of the Santa Barbara Marina for $10. If they're only going to take the time to do one or the other, it's going to be $15. And if they don't do either and they're just a guest, it's $20. So what we're doing is financially giving you a reason to do all this stuff because it's going to help you in your networking and it's going to help us organize. Okay? 
So let's we'll see. We do have an actual blog link to on this website, which you know I'll probably do some information that's non-business related or not non-leading related, I should say, on the blog part of this website. Um, and we'll be able to maybe can get back and forth. Not quite sure. We'll see where that goes. Uh, the videos, if you go over here and you click on the about, <laughs> click on meetings, it drops down and then there's a link to the videos that we have at YouTube. So. The nice thing, you know, all these companies are upgrading and making things better and streamlining. And what YouTube has done in the last year is they have realized that they want to create channels for people. So, you know, we want to go to your channel and we want to see all the stuff that you've been doing because we know you've got a good channel, you've seen it, and we want to go there. So YouTube realizes that that's a new technology. So it's real easy for you to go here now and take a look at the different videos that we've put up for each meeting. It was pretty unorganized before, it's much more organized. So this is a chance to go back and say, what did Wendy say? And play it three or four times. You know? <laughs> and that's the list. And that so, will happen. And that will happen. Will fast. <laughs> I've had a lot of people call me up and say, Dan, I've listened to uh, Lindsay Jean that video three or four times and I still got a question. I'm going, yeah, okay, well, let's work through, you know. If you were to click on this, it would just play the whole thing, or, you know, if you, click on something in here, it's going to divide it up and show you each individual one. You can pick and choose which one you want. So this is really good technology that YouTube has done. Okay, so 20K update. I'm going to move on to that. And uh, got a little bit of time here. The 20K update, I'm not going to get into all the details about that, but if we go back and Take a look at the website. If you come over here to about, click on that, go down. There's a drop down that says 20K rentals. That'll go to a three page Google document. I think you might have to be logged on with a Google account, but you can read all the details about how that's done, how it's managed, how I make that work. Okay? And uh, the short story is there's three ways to make money off of that. One is purchase. An investment property with me, go with me, we'll join venture, and within 12 months you're going to get 18% return on your money, and within six years you're going to get 100% return because the rent will have paid off the 20,000. That's not down payment, that's the full price. Okay? That's one way. If you say, well, Dan, I don't have 20,000, I can't do that. The second way is you can do the business, you can go do what I'm doing. And I guarantee you, I'm not worried about competition because, first of all, I could only do 30 or 40 of these and I would have no time in the day left to do anything else. And there's thousands of foreclosure properties throughout the nation and there's millions of people that say, I don't want to do that job, dealing with tenants and contractors and forget it, no way. I'd much rather give you 20,000 and let you do all the work and let me get my 18%. Okay, you know, I gotta do something. I'll do that. The other way is referrals. I don't want to do the job, I don't want the, I don't have the money, but I do some, I do know somebody who would like to do that. You get five hundred dollars if they come to me through you and say, yeah, and we go do it. As soon as we close escrow, you get a check for five hundred bucks. Now I've got some people volunteering to help make the calls, let you people know that we're having meetings. Bob Seeger. How are the calls going? They're going excellent. I mean, I don't want to raise them. Because we have some great numbers. I mean, it's just, it's very pleasurable to be speaking. I mean, uh, if, if everyone I'm making a call and you don't have time, please tell me you don't have time. Because it's really important to us when we're making a call. I mean, we don't know. Uh, sometimes it seems like the members are, you've got time, but it's like, no, they really don't. They're, in, they're driving down the road. So it's like, let us know. You know, because then we can give you a real short skinny or we can just say, would you like us to call you back? But on the 20K property, it's, you know, it's very easy. I mean, right now I had, we had possibly, I, he jumped on the phone and was working down the list to call people up. And I, and I, the first thing I say to anybody that helps a volunteer is that I say, when you get on the phone, the first thing you ask him is, is this a good time or a bad time to be talking? Because, you know, it's a bad time, let's get off the phone and go do something else, you know? If it's a good time, then we're here. We can talk about this. And so that helps. So Bob's working down the list, my daughter's working up the list, 
And she says, well, why am I doing this for 10 bucks an hour? Because I'm paying her, I'm not paying Bob, right? He's volunteering. This is my dog, we've got to do something to get the door, right? <laughs> How do you motivate these kids? So I said, well, you can make 12 bucks an hour, you know, doing uh, house cleaning, but you're not going to get a chance at commission. And so when I explained to her the commission for 500 bucks, she went, oh, okay, I think I'd rather make the calls. I said, that's a smart move. So I came back the very next day and said, Bob, got somebody in San Luis that said, yeah, I want to do that. Have Dan call me. Well, I've talked to that person four or five times. Three or four other callers like Bob talked to that person three or four times. Never did he say, I'm ready. But when Bob said something to him, he said, I'm ready. My thing is, the most recent person that talked to somebody, they get the 500. I don't care if I've told you 10 times. If Bob talks to you and you say, Bob, I'm ready, and I have Dan call me, he's going to get the 500. You've got to come up with some kind of rule, right? You know, some people say, well, that's not fair. Did you ever notice that it was, you know, there's nothing really fair, right? <laughs> but, but, so like, you look at. <laughs> right, but here's the great part. It's like, I, okay, I get the person who says, okay, I'm interested. It doesn't matter any part of uh, what I'm asking them. So then I immediately get in touch with Dan, email him, call him. I highlight it on the list so he sees which one. And then immediately, as soon as he gets in touch with that person, he shoots me a duplicate email right back to what he sent that person. So it's like he keeps me in the loop the entire time. And the good part, which got my daughter even more crazy, <laughs> was that I said, not only does he want to do something, and we're doing this through his IRA, we're about ready to close this up probably the next 30 days. He said, I got another 100,000, I probably want to do five or six of these things. And the deal is, you just keep getting $500 every time they do something. You don't have to go back out and talk to them again. The deal's done. There's no more talking to them. So you go on to do it with somebody else, you're working to get another five from somebody else, but if this guy does five or six or 10, I'm just gonna keep cutting him a check every time we close escrow because he brought that person to me. We're gonna be doing something for five or 10 years and we're gonna be splitting the rent. Doesn't it make sense for me to take part of that rent and go, thank you, Bob, you're making the effort, okay? So that's the third way that you can make some money out for 20K. And volunteering. If you want to do some volunteer work, you know, you get into the meetings for free if you can do volunteer work <laughs> in the month that we have a meeting. Okay? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> uh, Janet has uh, volunteered and helped us in the past in the calls. Oh, yeah. So you may have heard her. And my dad has a 20K property. Yeah, and her dad has bought a 20K property with me and I should have brought the envelope, you know, for the check. It's in the mail. You put that before him, <laughs> so he'll see it in a couple of days. Okay. Okay. But uh, he he seems to be happy. He's still happy. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of work to this stuff, and if you want to do what I'm doing, God bless you. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. So uh, marketing. Um, on the marketing side of things, Santa Barbara Computing Services, uh, let's see, we do some of this stuff. I have my son and daughter do some websites for people, uh, WordPress websites. And we start off on the low end, like I was talking about before, and work our way up. And we can't do it, we pass it on to somebody else like Wendy. And let other people give you the finer uh, details of, of what needs to be done. But you know, it's pretty, it's not, too difficult getting these things up and going. It was funny, I was talking to somebody at uh, GoDaddy, and that's where we do a lot of our hosting and domains through GoDaddy. And he says, well, you know, the going price for setting up a uh, WordPress website is between 15 and 2,500 per website. And my son went, what? We just got you doing one for $200? <laughs> I said, yeah, well, that's the learning curve, OK? 